Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a time delayed echo effect on your video. So I have a random B-roll clip of me walking here on the timeline, and if we want to get to the echo effect, we want to head over to our effects panel in the right hand side or the top here, and open up the video effects folder. You should see another folder called time. If you open that up, you should see the echo effect. So I can actually just click and drag this right onto our clip that we want the effect to go on. Now by default, it just looks like it brightens things up a lot, but what's actually happening is this is taking your video clip and it's overlaying it on top of each other at a set time delay and blending them together. So the default time delay isn't that far apart, that's why you can't really tell. But if I do a time delay of let's say one second, you can see that it's playing the two clips on top of each other at one second apart. So let me break down for you guys what some of these different parameters do. So echo time in seconds is the time delay between the echoed clips. So one is one second, negative one is one second, but you can see if I do negative one, then the echoed clip won't start until one second passes. So I like to do positive number seconds. So let's do, let's say 0.1 of a second and you can see that that creates a nice stuttered and delayed effect between the feet but things are a bit too bright right now so I'm going to show you how to change that so the echo operator is the way that you tell Premiere to blend the two video clips together so add just kind of multiplies the color channels to make things brighter maximum and minimum are kind of like darken and lighten in Photoshop and essentially they'll only show the dark parts or the light parts versus the underlying clips which can create a cool effect sometimes. Screen is kind of like add but it's a little bit more soft of a brightening effect and composite in back and front tells Premiere to start the delayed clip and play it first or start the delayed clips from back to front. Essentially you'll only see this effect taking place at the start or end of the clip like you just saw there. It just plays the echoes on top of each other as if they were on top of each other on the timeline at a delay. And finally blend gives you an average combination of all the different echoes. So let's keep it on screen. I like screen for a nice soft effect that isn't too bright or intense. And one cool trick I like to do is to select an echo time that's actually pretty small so like 0.1 second forward and what that does is it creates a really cool stutter where it's just close enough to stick to the lines of the original video but it's just far enough for it to have that echoed and weird looking effect on it. Now a few more parameters you can adjust are the number of echoes so this is how many times the clip is going to repeat and you can do from 1 to 10 repetitions but as you can see it gets pretty bright as you keep blending more and more clips on top of each other so another thing that you can adjust is the starting intensity and the decay. So in this case let's keep the starting intensity at 1 which is its original brightness and intensity and let's make each echo decay to half its strength from the previous one. So there's three echoes on there. They're each 0.1 seconds apart and they each decay by half strength. So this is what you can see as the final effect. It kind of almost looks like ghosty or drunk goggles even and you could imagined some different cool uses for this in music videos or video editing projects to create some almost abstract or streaking visual effects. So definitely play around with the echo video effect. It's under the time filter in the video effects presets and come up with a cool time echo delay effect of your own. If you guys did like this video, definitely leave a like on it below and check out the Adobe Premiere Pro playlist on my channel for more Premiere tutorials and definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all new future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.